Eu estou aqui com o Darren Aronofsky, ele é o diretor e roteirista de um dos filmes mais comentados dos últimos tempos, que é Mãe, que é estrelado pelo Jennifer Lawrence e está nos cinemas. Thank you very much. Have you had a chance to do some sightseeing here in São Paulo? I went to the Batman Alley last ah, night, nice. which was gorgeous. I just say that uh, I don't know her last name, Paulo Restaurant, uh -huh. the Master Chef. Oh, I see. She's exceptional. Paula Carrosella. Thank you. Amazing food. Uh -huh. um, but uh, I've got I've done very little else. I've I've mostly just been resting. Talking about the movie. How did you have the idea? Because you have yeah. so many things in this movie. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it, it slowly builds for me. I, I had this idea of trying to tell this big story about Mother Earth and Mother Nature and tell a movie from her point of view. I think we all live on this planet and it's very hard to understand what happens in New York or happens in Beijing or in Moscow or Sao Paulo. But if you reduce it all to a single house, it's much more easy to know what's happening in your living room, in your dining room, and in your kitchen. And so that was the idea, was to take a big idea and sort of shrink it to a small idea and sort of tell the whole story of humans in that home. Please, come in. Hello. Hello. Because one of the things that we, are, we were discussing when the movie ended is that, well, is this something that has the environmental aspect, the religious aspect, the suspense aspect, or, or, or everything all together. All together. <laughs> so when you thought about it, you <coughs> think of everything all together. Well, I thought, I think I got the idea of making a story in a house. Then I was thinking about houses and one of the great genre of, of homes is home invasion movies where people are coming into your house. And that really connected and worked really well with this idea of people in the world. So that made sense. And then I think the big breakthrough was like, well, how do I tell the story of people? And I thought about the Bible stories, which are the best stories in the world, and how I could use those stories to kind of tell the history of people on earth, all within this house. So that, that was the kind of starting point that allowed me to charge forward. You're insane. <laughs> so you were a religious man because you did Noah and all yeah, yeah, this. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think I'm a storyteller, and these stories I think are these stories that belong to all of us. They belong to the entire world, and uh, they're they're our heritage. And I think they in stories there's tremendous power to think about what's happening now in the world. You know, when you go to um, to to a place of worship. That's you know what you hear uh, the head person talking about and saying. They usually talk about the old lessons and how it means for people now. And so that's always been interesting to me. Is like, why are these stories so popular? Uh, what do they mean to people? What do they mean? And how do they relate to my life now? What I'm trying to do is bring life into this house. What is your favorite scene of the movie? Oh, God. And which one was the most difficult to shoot? Well, the most difficult, which is also probably my favorite, so I can answer it all at once, <laughs> is the last 20, 30 minutes of the movie where wow. it goes crazy. <laughs> I mean, uh, we kind of did things like that in Requiem for a Dream when the old lady, when the, when the refrigerator comes alive, and then that was about two minutes. And then in Black Swan, where she became the swan, that was about three minutes. This was a 30 minute long sequence of just things getting more and more and more crazy and escalating and escalating. We call it the fever dream. And uh, technically it was very, very difficult because every department had to contribute to make this constantly change and constantly get more intense. It were very difficult stunts, lots of extras, um, lots of effects. But uh, when I watch it flowing all together and see it come alive, it makes me very happy. You give and you give and you give. It's just never enough. And it was very powerful. Thank you. My last question. Yeah. I know that you're not telling anyone about it, but I have to ask. What did you intend to say when, you, when she drinks all those yellow things? <laughs> What did you think it was? Ah, <laughs> I don't have the slightest I, idea. 
<laughs> that's a that's a bit that's a secret I take to my grave. Oh, okay. Thank you, Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Ciao. Yeah!